He would become perhaps the most influential man in American history. He fought in the French and Indian War as a young man in the 1750s. Now, as other prominent colonists began to voice their displeasure with the Crown of England's rule over the colonies, Washington joined them. At the age of 43, Washington was named Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army in July of 1775. The colonies were going to war against Great Britain, the most powerful empire in the world. The British formally surrendered at the Treaty of Paris in 1783, and the colonies were now a free nation of states. The United States of America was born. In February of 1789, Washington was unanimously chosen as the country's first president, receiving all 69 electoral votes. George Washington would serve as U.S. President for eight years, two terms, retiring voluntarily at the end of his second term. He returned to his Mount Vernon estate on the Potomac in Virginia and died in 1799 at the age of 67.